I made a sun for you. No, I thought this was NASCAR. NASCAR. Look what he did. He got he got stuff all over me. <clears throat> and this is why we can't have nice things. All right, people, this is a funny thing. One thing about living here in Wisconsin is that the people that you come into contact with are usually very unique individuals. And of course, you know, we're friends with the Don and he, he's got some seriously funny quirks. And um, one of them is, is just how he makes some money. Uh, he, he buys and sells stuff. There's nothing weird about that, right? Except when you're out here in the middle of nowhere and all of a sudden every you know few days or whatever, a big old semi will show up and drop off loads of pallets and pallets and pallets of stuff. It could be syrup, like 275 gallon tanks of syrup that these guys use for bear bait or cookies. He's got semi tons of cookies and then he buys them and guys just show up and they sell them. Pallets of dog food. Today, I am told that he got, he's got a semi load of cat food coming. I'm like, how many cats are around here? There's, not that. but he does it, and Lots. it's it's really funny because it's just it's a funny thing, and I'm like, you go, man, but it's it's kind of unique. Yeah. The Don with his semi loads of cat food. All right, what'd you do over here? You I didn't do anything. Here. He did it. <laughs> you didn't like the way it looked, right? Right. He didn't like. He wanted to see what the bottom of the bag said. Nice. Nice. So he flipped it over instead of just taking a bag off and flipping the one bag over. He Don flipped, did it. He flipped the whole load so that he could read the bottom of the bag. Perfect. You can uh oh, getting a little bit low here on the firewood. Uh, time to get out there and make a run. Yeah, I think it's about time to restock. And doggone it, if this ATV didn't bust on me the very first time I used it this year. First off, the daggone four-wheel drive just decided it wasn't gonna work. And then I'm out here plowing, I got about three quarters of it done, and the cable breaks. I started to hit the control to move the, uh, the, uh, the blade up and down, and it went up, but then it got stuck, and it just popped right off, it just snapped right in two. It's an easy fix, but those things really, really do chap you when it's like, I gotta get stuff done. And all of a sudden, now you gotta stop and take another 20 or 30 minutes to fix a silly little thing. So yeah, living in the snow has its challenges. Ouch, this dang thing keeps poking me. It's pokey. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I think we got it. Uh, now we can tow it. Except I put the F backwards. I was mixed up. Huh? How about you guys? Anybody got some cool, like, crop art or snow art? I'll bet you could do a better one in the backyard, Mama. Honey, Mama, Snookums, love of my life. What did you do? Bride of, of me. Yes? So I go out there to fix the, uh, the winch and the plow. You broke it. And the ATV won't start. Because it's too cold. Nope. There's something wrong with it. Four wheel drive didn't work the other day, and I started talking to Tim, and he says, Oh, you need a new starter. You broke it. A new starter is like $200. We don't have $200. So we've got a plan. Do it now. It's going to stink, but we got a plan. Okay. 
I'll shuffle for you. <laughs> this, right. this, this driver is way too big to shuffle. Yeah. Oh, okay, what's the plan? The plan Stand. is, perhaps there Bob said, he'll help us take the plow off of the old one uh -huh. and put it on one of our new ones. Okay. But that's going to be a big problem because our winch might not fit. And if it does not fit... We have to buy a new winch. Which, or, why do we, if we have to buy a new winch, why don't we just buy a new starter? Or we could just shovel. It'll be cheapest for us to have him jerry-rig it. He said he can probably weld the plate onto the front of it to make it work. And so, the story of our lives. Not having enough or the right tool and still having to get the job done anyway. But you know what? Praise God. It's a fix that we can manage with his help. Yeah. Hey, Macy, how are you doing? You're looking good. You got that nice winter coat going. Have you seen the, the trees back there? Look at that. Everything's frosted over, and it's pretty, 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 pretty. But there's not too much wind today. We got a lot of sun. I bet you're enjoying that. So appreciate you, appreciate you coming by. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your stay here at the Big Family Homestead. Alrighty, people, we got a lot done today. Mm -hmm. It was it was it was a good day. Yes, it was a very good day. Very busy. Got a lot done. I'm ready to take about forty ibuprofen and crash for the evening. Forty might be no. a little excessive. I'm kidding. I don't take ibuprofen unless I absolutely have to. She's gonna take some. I'll take one or two, but that's about it. Yeah, but you know when we were out actually tooling around, getting some gifts and doing some stuff mm -hmm. for the, the house, getting, you know, stocking up on junk food that you get from Aldi and whatever. Junk food. Tortilla chips and, you know, butter salsa. and salsa and... It's okay. Calm down there, Sassy. Well, when you say junk food, Calm it's down. not like candy and things like that. It's just... No that's cookies? What, yeah, you got some cookies. Might have got so. a few cookies. Yeah. So. Anyway, anyway, we were just talking because, like, um, Mama was saying, you know, well, what do you even want for Christmas? And I'm like, I don't really want anything. But we always end up getting a gift for each other anyway. And and it got me to thinking because I've talked to you guys about this in the past. The the um, <coughs> um, the desire I have, and for not for just me, but for you too, to have the the important memories of life. Yeah in a tangible way. Mm -hmm. Not just have those photos on your phone right. or even in the cloud, but get them printed out. Right. You know, remember how cool it was when you'd be able to just go through a family album and remember, oh, you remember when I you did I know a this? lot of people still do that, but a lot of people don't anymore. They and have virtual photo albums. When it's fading away. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing too, your devices, they go away like the wind guys. Mm -hmm. like, the, like our funds earlier today. Uh, All of a sudden, there's no money in the bank account. Yeah, because somebody stole our credit card number. And how the heck did that happen? Don't know. I have no idea. But fortunately, the bank took care of it. Mm -hmm. But all of those things could just be a vapor and gone. Yeah. Those memories. And so we were talking. I'm like, you know what I miss? I miss records. Yeah. Hold it in your hand, LP. And they're, they're kind of making a comeback now. Mm -hmm. um, I saw albums at Aldi. They had the ACDC album and Johnny Cash. Oh, no, and the, Cash. the Mariah Carey Christmas mm. album. Um, there was another Take the Johnny oh, Cash. Oh, there was a Pearl Jam one. And no. It's just really funny. But it was just, what? you know, it was those... I loved when you got a record, and especially if it was like a double record, opened up and you could sit there and listen to it. And they were intended to be listened to the whole record. Yeah. Not just like, here's one good track and then 12 pieces of trash. Yeah, yeah. I hates that. I hates it. I, I hates, hates it. it. I hates it. Nice. And so I was just, you know, thinking, you know, to have those things that, that are tangible and are meaningful mm -hmm. in a way that you can pick it up and hold it. Phot photographs, you know, favorite records you have, all that kind of stuff. And so... I'm kind of just thinking along those lines. I miss that stuff. I don't. You guys miss that stuff. I would imagine. I miss that stuff. <coughs> I mean, I I understand the MP3 thing. I just don't like it. Yeah. I can it's actually hear it too. It's, it's a poor quality of a recording. So. The only MP3 compression that I have a hard time discerning is 320. Most people put theirs down at 128. I don't know what 
what that means. The quality of mine is way up here, but I still can hear it. It's called the aliasing. I can hear it, and it just drives me nuts, especially the bad one. Anyway, I'm... He's such an audio guy, it's insane. I can't help it. Yeah. Does it bug you? It bugs me. I mean, we live in a technology-soaked world now where everything's faster, bigger, better, except why does the quality keep getting worse and worse and worse? Because we're tolerating it. I'm not tolerating it. I want a record. I want to go get the first record I ever bought with my own money. Which was? Journey Escape. Ha, ah, that's a good one. Anyway, I'm Brad, I'm the Big Krista. Family Homestead. Yeah, not, I'm not of the Big Family Homestead. Don't go changing people. Have an amazing day.